For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and it's time for your daily dose of the doctor. Today, we are going to talk about how to handle a planned trade. So whether you're trading my trading plan, your trading plan, anybody's trading plan, the important thing is that you know what you're going to do before you do it. And in the case of my plan, I handle things in a very particular way. So if you look at the plan for Friday, this is Intercontinental Exchange Incorporated, ticker symbol ICE. We see here that we had a 5702 short sale entry with a 5748 stop loss, a 5670 50% to target level, and a 5638 target. So why is all that stuff on my trading plan, and what am I using it for, and what's this pivot line thing here telling me? And these are all the important considerations that I have going into any day if I'm going to be trading one of these setups. So let's take a look at the chart. Here we see ICE. This one opened. It traded down and sort of steadily made in the first 10 minutes of the day a move down to this 5702 entry level. Once we were in, the stock consolidated, went sideways, right? It wasn't doing anything wrong here at all. And then it dropped down and it hit this green pivot line. So the reason that pivot is identified on the plan is as I'm moving lower, I know that the green pivot, the S1 pivot, is going to be a place that I've got some inflection, right? So I'm not at all surprised when price sort of pauses here and uh, does nothing for a while, you know, wiggles around a little bit below and above. The 5670 level, which happens to be right around that pivot, that represents 50% of the distance to the target. And what I do if I hit 50% of the distance to the target is in real tech, I can just grab my lines and pull them down and change my orders. So if this was a live order, what I would do is once I hit 5670, I would grab this 5748 stop loss and I would pull it down to 5702. So now my stop is sitting right at break even. So 50% of the distance to the target, we move our stop to break even. Then as the stock moves lower, once we get down to 56.48 in price, I would move my stop again, and this time I'm moving it down to that 56.70 level. So now I've locked in a 50% to distance profit target. And then once it touches that line, it's going to take me out of the trade, and that's all she wrote. Right? So I'm not sitting around typically watching to see if I can get an extension or something. Usually these profit targets, as was the case today in ICE, are based on some pretty strong support and resistance from a daily chart. And when that's in place, you really can't expect that price is just going to sort of gyrate sideways for the course of uh, minutes to hours. What it does after this is not my concern. Now let me just show you how to enter the order to begin with, and then we can all get on with our weekend. When you're setting an order like this up, the easiest thing to do is use a bracket order. You can also use structured orders in other software platforms. This is Realtek we're looking at here. Or you can use conditional orders or uh, OCO and OSO orders. It all essentially accomplishes the same thing. In this case, we know that if ICE hits 5702, that's going to be our stop price, that's our activation price, then we want to go short. In this case, we'll short the stock all the way down to 56.99, taking a three cent slip at the worst. And then we need to come in here and tell it what to do if things go wrong. Buy for a loss. We're going to cover 100% of the position. We're going to cover it at the stop loss price. All right? We can see there what we stand to lose on the trade if it goes against us. And then we can put in our profit objective. Again, the quantity of shares, 100%. And we see what we stand to do if things go right. And once those are in, we tell it to place the order. Now, of course, we're already below our limit price. So this order will still go live. We see it's a triggered order, and it's waiting now for price to come back up here again. So right now, this order is not going to do anything at all for us. But if it was the first thing in the morning, market just opened, then as price moves down to that 5702 level, it would trigger us in. And then the rest of the trade just takes care of itself. So that's how my trading plan is structured. That's the intention behind all those rules that accompany it every day. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. I hope you had a great trading day today and an even better one on deck for Monday. 
the best trader education anywhere, only from TraderInsight.com.